Welcome to the 2024 Canberra Marathon, where we've got a record number of participants with over 10,000 runners set to tackle the famous course around the capital. The course record is 2.25.18 for the men and 2.42.29 for the women. Will we see records tumble? The men's is wide open, so I've, I've heard that Miles Goff's running. So Miles has run 225, I think, on this course to win. Pretty much a solo effort a few years back. I think he's had a few injuries since then. Um, there's, there's word that he's out for sort of two hours 30. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to run under two hours 30 minutes tomorrow. Um, it's, been a, it's been kind of a up and down couple of years since I've won the Canberra Marathon. I've had a few injury setbacks. 2.30 or sub 2.30 is a nice shiny round number um, and I'd love to get there. Yeah, I think that's kind of where the, the training is kind of pointing uh, towards and I feel comfortable kind of running around that pace but um, yeah the marathon's uh, full of uncertainties and I suppose you don't really know until you kind of hit the, the back end of it. So Zach's pretty new to running. Uh, he's a bit of an outlier in that he's only been running for a couple of years but he's so durable like he's, he's run 150, 160k weeks. So essentially I've had a, a serious injury about three years ago. I took two years off running just to get fit and healthy from that. And this is my first sort of big competitive race since then. So I feel I'm, this is the best marathon specific training block I've done. Um, so I, I'd like to think I can hit a PB on the right day. So which, which will be sub 228. Uh, but I'm a different athlete to how I was when, when I set that. So that was five years ago. Um, I'm now in my ripe old middle age, about to hit 40. So this is the comeback. Matt and Zach, they raced each other about a month ago at the orange half, and Zach beat Matt by about a minute. So I guess that's a good sign for Zach. I just love to run, really. So do all distances, but um, focusing on the marathon and ultras right at this current time. We look at the women's side. So on paper, like Marnie Ponton is probably the standout um, because she's run like 230 something. Um, the only, I guess, asterisk ne next to Marnie is that she's training for comrades. So I know she's doing a lot of these marathons as training sessions. So whether she goes as hard as she can um, is yet to be seen. So she would be my pick for the women's. I actually think I'm probably in PB shape, but. I just know the course is like a bit hillier. Um, so I don't know, the temptation's always there, especially when you know you're fit, but I really want to have like another strong, positive experience. She's tough. As soon as that gun goes, you know that she's going to bring her A game. And we're underway in the 2024 Canberra oh. Times Marathon, Australia's oldest city marathon, an event that was established back in 1976. The marathon is mystical steeped in history and tradition and it's hard. Well, it looks like we've got an early break here. This is Ben McCronin leading the men's Running field. three minute kilometres or sub three minute kilometres that the top guys are doing these days, that's fast running. It's an interesting tactic to go so early here. As we know, the wind may become a factor out later on in the course. To me, the marathon doesn't start until 30K. You know, the first 30K is just your warm up. This is the chase group. Driving the group is Matthew Ho, Zach Rosser, Miles Goff and James Paddock. To win, that's where you need to be strong. You know, you can go out and you can have a big lead, but the race changes. The race is all about that second half. It's all about that last 10K. And, and that's where you've got to be competitive. That's where you've got to be strong. That's where you've got to be able to run fast. To the front of the women's race, we have three favourites all bunched together. Marty Montin, Rodwin Hager and Alex Barnes. And it is in fact Marty Ponton who has decided to make the first move. We weren't sure if we'd see this today. When you cross the finish line of something that's really, really hard, like a marathon, you have this incredible sense of pride and this incredible sense of accomplishment and, and that pride and self-worth fuels your courage. And when you're proud of yourself and when you have courage, then you're prepared and able to take on the big issues in your life. Matthew Ho looks to have put a hammer down here. The straight road must be a huge boost for him. As you can see, Ben is only 400 metres up the road. And there it is, 
Matthew Ho has made his move four kilometres from the finish. What an incredible comeback this is for Matt. After a five-year hiatus from the sport, what a statement this is. As we come down King Edward Terrace, 100 metres to go, it's Matthew Ho, the father of six kids who will win the 2024 Canberra Times Marathon.